You watching daytime tea time with Candace. Daytime tea time. Daytime tea time. No way. Only I can eat your breasts and that's totally true. Daytime tea time. It's time to pour this tea, stir this tea, and sip this tea. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, it's Candace. All right, you see that title, so you already know. We're about to talk about the 2018 Met Gala. You guys, this year's Met Gala did not disappoint. Everybody came looking absolutely amazing. This year's theme was a Catholic theme. The theme was Heavenly Bodies, Fashion, and Catholic Imagination. So everybody basically came dressed holy yet sexy. <laughs> I'm gonna do a fashion breakdown for y'all and let y'all know who I think were the best dressed. I have to start this breakdown with Rihanna, y'all. Rihanna looked absolutely amazing. She was definitely my favorite for the night, by far. She was dressed in this beautiful strapless, bejeweled mini dress. When it comes to the Catholic theme, y'all, she went all out, wearing a beautiful ceremonial headdress, a robe. Y'all, she looked like the Pope, a sexy version of the Pope. I'm just saying. Definitely number one on my list. All right, y'all, moving forward, let's talk about Nicki Minaj. Y'all, Nicki Minaj wore a dramatic, hot, red Oscar de la Renta dress. When she was asked about her dress, she said, I'm the bad guy, so I wanted to make sure the bad guy was here. But because I'm the bad guy, and I wanted to make sure the bad guy was here. Album dropping June 15th. It's called Queen. So I guess while everybody else was dressing all holy, she decided to dress evil on the low-low and at the same time promote her album, which you heard is called Queen, so look out for that. Now speaking of bad guy, she wasn't being too much of a bad guy because she was caught taking selfies and pictures with Cardi B. Now people are seeing this as a sign of them squashing their beef. I don't know about all that. I think they were being cordial. I believe they squashed the beef when they say they squashed the beef. But that just looked like people being cordial. What they look like fighting at the Met Gala. But since we're talking about Cardi B, she wore a beautiful Moschino dress designed by Jeremy Scott. And Jeremy Scott was actually her date. We're up here at the Met Gala with my girl Cardi B. Yes. We came to slay. Okay. <laughs> now I typically don't care for his designs, but this one, it wasn't so bad. I liked it. I liked it. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, next we have to talk about Solange. Y'all, Solange came to Soleil. Now I don't feel like she really went with the Catholic theme. I mean, she wore all black, skin tight. It looked beautiful, but it wasn't Catholic. But listen, that headpiece, y'all, everything. SZA was another one that looked absolutely freaking beautiful. She looked like a goddess. Y'all, I was obsessed with everything. Her headpiece, her hair, her makeup, just everything. Everything absolutely beautiful. And when I'm talking about her hair, y'all, her hair is what I would call a beautiful mess because it's not super neat, not super put together, but it's still beautiful. Like she rocked that messy look. Now with Solange and SZA, they pretty much stuck to the headpiece theme because I know a lot of people were definitely rocking headpieces. And Janelle Monet was another one. She looked absolutely beautiful in her headpiece. Not Catholic theme, but still beautiful. Same thing goes for Kendall and Kylie. I mean, they showed up and they weren't really Catholic theme. Unless one of them was going for an angel and one was going for a demon. Because you see, one's wearing black, one's wearing white. I'm just saying. Not Catholic theme, but still beautiful. And that brings me to Kim Kardashian. She looked absolutely beautiful, simple, and elegant. And she was really giving me Egyptian vibes. Like, look at her makeup. I was feeling more Egyptian vibes with the makeup and the gold dress. Not Catholic, but still cute. Zoe Kravitz and Ariana Grande, same thing for them. Not Catholic, but still cute. But y'all know who had to do the absolute most, Katy Perry. Y'all, she showed up wearing freaking wings. So I guess that's her way of being Catholic. She wanted to be an angel. Now let's talk about my Black Panthers, okay? Wakanda Forever with Chadwick Boseman, y'all. He looked like a God-fearing Catholic man with that outfit. His outfit just screamed Catholic, okay? Loved it. Now my other Black Panther actor, Michael B. Jordan. Listen, y'all. I'm a happily married woman, but he looked like an entire snack, okay? A delicious snack. <laughs> Me and my sisters were in a group chat talking about it. Y'all, he looked absolutely dope. Oh, something else that happened. Two Chains actually proposed to his baby mom on the carpet. I thought that was so cute. The best place to get the best photographs and video. 
Why is the best why is this the best place to propose? <laughs> How long were you planning this? <laughs> he knew what he was doing. Madonna, she definitely gave Catholic vibes. Catholic funeral vibes, but still Catholic vibes. <laughs> she shared a hug and a kiss with Nicki Minaj, and that was cute. It was cute, it was cute. Okay, y'all, I absolutely have to talk about this. I'm not trying to be negative or mean, but let's talk about Sarah Jessica Parker. Y'all know from Sex in the City. Okay, she looked absolutely beautiful. Her outfit was dope, Catholic themed. Her date was Andy Cohen. He was Catholic themed. But once they got to the Met Gala and they start taking those pictures and they start releasing them, y'all, every picture that I found, the close-ups, she looked so old. Somebody please explain to me why she looks like a 99-year-old woman. Like, I'm not even trying to be mean. I'm not trying to be mean, I swear. But she just looks extremely old. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw this picture, y'all. She's 53, but she looks 93. I'm just saying. And the same thing with the Olsen twins, y'all. They look so old. They're 31 years old. And they look like 51. Listen, I went through all of these beautiful Met Gala pictures. And then when I got to them, I was like, what in the world? Listen, y'all, I refuse to end my video on this note. So out of all the people I mentioned, let's talk about my top three. Number one being beautiful Rihanna. Number two being Cardi B. And number three being Michael B. Jordan because he looked like a delicious snack. Okay? All right, y'all, I'm done with this. I need to know what y'all think. What do y'all think about the 2018 Met Gala? Who was your best dressed? Let me know what you think. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'm going to catch you in the next one, all right? Bye.